Hey YouTube family, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back once again to our daily hacking news series. So today we have completed the 200th video of this hack talk series. And thank you very much for your kind support so that uh, we just got a small milestone over there. Thank you anyway. So if you want, if you really like our this content, then you can hit the like button. And if you want, you can subscribe as well. Anyway, so let's get right into the first video. So first news uh, uh, is related to Russia. So at least three alleged hacktivist group worked in support of Russian interest are likely doing so in collaboration with the state as sponsored cyber threat actors. So this was being said by Mandiant. So the group uh, Google on Threat Intelligence and Incident Response Firm said with a uh, moderation confidence that moderators of support hacktivist telegram channel XAK Net Team or Info Center and uh, Cyber Army of Russia Rebound are coordinating their operation with the Russian main intelligence directorate, which are called GRU, which is uh, said to be a sponsored cyber threat actors. So this was published on uh, the Hackers News, and uh, this is exactly what is uh, moving all around. But anyway, who knows who is working at which end? Anyway, uh, now next news is coming from India. So Microsoft 365 Defender researchers team analyzed that the new version of Pre previously reported info info android malware delivered through an sms campaign so this new version of remote access trojan capabilities target the customers of indian banks the message contained link that point to the info android malware leading the user to download a fake banking reward app so whenever you get any app or any anywhere just don't try to download it you can download from play store uh, apple store whatever you have or from the legitimate site Otherwise, don't download from WhatsApp or from any uh, illegal link, whatever you got. Now, the next news is coming from China. So, China alleged advanced persistent threat actors known as TA413 weaponized recently disclosed, disclosed flaw in Sophos, Firewall and Microsoft Office to deploy a never-before-seen backdoor called LoZero as a part of an espionage campaign aimed at Tibetan entities. So, Targets uh, primarily consist of organizations associated with the Tali, uh, Tibetan community, including enterprises association with the Tibetan government in exile. So the intrusion involved the exploitation of CB 2022-1040 and CB 2022-30190, which was also called Falina. So uh, two remote uh, code execution vulnerability in Sophos firewall and Microsoft uh, Office. This was being said respectively. So now, now the last news is uh, related to one of the APT group. So Sent, uh, Sentelin, Sentin Labs researchers uncovered a never before seen threat actors tracked as Metador. So that primarily targeted telecommunications, internet service provider and uh, universities in several countries in the Middle East and Africa. So the expert pointed out uh, that the attack chains employed by the threat actors are designed to bypass native security solution while deploying malware platform directly into memory. So the attackers are highly aware of operation security. They are able to manage carefully segmented infrastructure per victim and were observed quickly deploying intricated or intricate countermeasures in the presence of security solution. So th that was being uh, related to one of the APT group. So that's all for today. Happy Navaratri and thank you very much for your kind support. Today we have completed 200 videos series so i hope you found this video helpful as always and uh, if yes comment on your feedback you may subscribe because we are bringing hacky news on daily basis so at last thanks for watching this video have a great day jai hind